Welcome to February's LeetCode Challenge. Today's problem is search a 2D matrix 2. Write an efficient algorithm that searches for a target value in an m times n integer matrix. The matrix has the following properties. Integers in each row are sorted in ascending from left to right. Integers in each column are sorted in ascending from top to bottom. Okay, so if we want to see if a target exists inside of a matrix, obviously we could just search every single cell and see if it exists. Uh, but there's this property that both the row and columns are sorted. Surely we can take advantage of that to make it more efficient. Well, the very first thought I had was, well, we could just do a binary search on every single row to see if the value exists. That would be a, what, n log m solution. But that doesn't take advantage of the fact that this side is also sorted. So that's probably not going to be the most efficient. So what if we did a binary search on both the column and the row? If we did like, a, for instance here, if we did a binary search and we looked for five, we would probably end up here saying, okay, well, we can't find the five, but this is the uh, greatest number lower than five. But you can kind of see that it's not gonna work if we started to do binary search here because we'll check here and we'll see five doesn't exist. And now where do we go? Uh, there's no real good way to know where to go from there. So that's also not going to work. All right, so let's think about where can we start to start eliminating rows and columns. What if we started at the the bottom left? Now, if we check to see, all right, is the is our target greater or less than this value here? If the target is less than this value, we could completely eliminate this row here and just move up, right? In the same way, if the value is greater, then we can eliminate the first column and just move our point, pointer this way. If we did this, each time we could eliminate a row or a, um, a row or a column, and that's going to end up becoming a m plus n time complexity. So let's try going with that. Um, first, we'll initialize a couple of variables. We'll initialize the n and m to equal the length of the matrix and the length of matrix 0. Now we need our pointers, call them row and column. So row, we want to start at the very bottom, that's going to be n minus 1. And column, we want to start at the very beginning, so that'll be a 0. Okay, so while the row is, let's see, gr uh, greater or equal to 0, and the column is less than m, what do we want to do? Well, first we want to check to see if the target is equal to this. So if matrix.r or c equals target, then we can immediately return a true. Now, otherwise, we kind of want to do this quasi binary search here, right? If the matrix rc is less than the target, we know that we can eliminate this first row. If it's less, then we know that it can't possibly be in this first or this last row here, so we can just move our row value up. So we'll say row minus equals one. Otherwise, if it's uh, greater, if the target, or I should say rather, if the target is less, then we know that it's got to be. Um, oh wait, shoot! I think I'm confusing this. Okay, if the value is less than the target values less than the target, that means it's greater, so we move, okay, so that's, I flipped that around, that should be column plus one, otherwise row minus equal one. Uh, if we can get out of this loop though, if we get out of bounds, that means the target just doesn't exist, so we can go ahead and return a false. So let's go ahead and make sure this works. It does, let's go and submit it. And there we go, very simple algorithm. Now. It's not that easy to come up with this. Um, I know, like, in hindsight, it seems very simple. Uh, but initially, I kind of floundered about thinking about binary searches and all that. It's only when you start thinking about, well, where else could we begin, like, to start eliminating whole rows and values where this algorithm can start coming to you. So, yeah, hope that helps. Um, thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.